When you're working in the query editor, um, you've got a whole range of different transformations that are available to you for um, uh, taking seg segments of a particular column, combining them, extracting parts of dates, et cetera, et cetera. And in fact, the range of options that you've got available can be overwhelming sometimes. So um, there's also a feature that's available to just give examples of the type of column that you want. And uh, Power BI will try and infer the transformations that are required to get into that state uh, to produce that output for you. If you've ever used Flash Fill in Excel, it's a very similar um, uh, functionality and similar sort of algorithm uh, that's used there. And it's called Create Column from Example. So you can see on the odd column, uh, add column uh, ribbon here, there's this column from examples uh, option. And when you add this, you'll actually get uh, an inline uh, column where you can start typing values to give examples of the output that you want. And this will, by default, look across all of the other columns that are available in your table and try and work out, based on any of those values, um, how do you transform that into the thing that, that you're asking for. So here, I'm going to tidy up this state column. Um, so you'll see that generally it looks OK, but Massachusetts has got this funny E at the end of it, um, and, uh, and there are some other problems further down. Uh, and this is because I, I've just uh, uh, scraped this out of the Wikipedia page, and there are some sort of links and citations and the like that, that we need to tidy up. So all I need to do is to um, click into this column and start typing uh, the, 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 the results that I'm interested in. So when I type Alabama, sure enough, it goes and grabs me all of the, um, uh, all of the fields out of that state column. But if I was to do this in uppercase, for example, it would understand that, OK, the transformation from that state column to the result that I've typed in is a text.upper transform. And you can see a preview of what's actually happening to this uh, before you apply it. So that's transformed everything in this column into an uppercase. But you can see Massachusetts here has still got that E next to it. Well, I want to get rid of that one. And if I want to make edits um, halfway down or to, to a particular row um, in this column, I just double click on it, and now I can start typing. So let's remove that E. And watch what happens to Nevada down here. So Nevada had the same problem. It had another one of these links at the end of it. When I hit commit to, um, uh, to remove E from Massachusetts, it's also removed it from Nevada. And that's because it's, it's uh, identified two things. So it's doing the uppercase transformation still, but it's also uh, removing, or rather just keeping the text before that square bracket delimiter. So I can iterate over this, um, uh, uh, these examples that I'm giving to make uh, further changes and refine that transformation that's, that's uh, going to be applied. So now when I hit OK, that gets committed as a new column, um, and you can see it's had all of those edits made and attached to it. So I can keep doing more of these um, uh, columns and try some different examples. So for example, I've also got a date field here. Now, um, I could just type in December, and it will understand that, hey, December is the month name for the date that that state became a state. Um, and it's going to go and apply that to all of the other columns. I could do something uh, with the very specific date as well. So for example, I know that that was a Tuesday. And again, this will go through and it'll extract the day of the week for each of those uh, states' statehood dates. So I could combine all of these things as well. So let's take this, for example. So I can say Alabama, whose capital is Montgomery, what became a state on a Tuesday in 1819. So I've given it an example, and you'll see that it's, it's extracted certain elements from the various, state, uh, various columns that are already there. It's appended the text that I typed in. It's picked up other columns like Montgomery. It's picked up the day that the state um, became a state and the, the year that it became a state as well. So it's using all of those different elements as examples to construct the resulting uh, string that I wanted to extract from those columns. So it's really simple to just add a load of examples and pull things out that way.